here's the next question I have. Why? Why is prayer? The root of the word communicate, because prayer is communication. That's what I just said, right? Prayer is communication to the right. God. It's a Latin word which means to impart. Communicare. Okay? okay. And what the Lord, it's about what the Lord wants to impart to us. We seem to have been convinced that we go before the Lord in prayer to communicate, to impart to Him what we, what we want <laughs> and how He should accomplish it. Yeah, how we, to do it. How to, isn't that the truth? Yes, absolutely. Okay. But I want to tell you what the Lord wants to impart in us. Yes. Life. Amen. Life. Mm. Jesus said that He came that we would have life and have it abundantly. All right? All relationships. All. Capital A, capital L, capital L. All relationships are built on communications. You and I have been saved because the Lord called us. He called us by name, hallelujah. Yes. The name that was written in the Lamb's Book of Life from before the foundations of the earth. All right? This, he, he called us. That's what, didn't that mean what Peter said? Yes. He has called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Jesus came to save that which was lost. So he can save that which was lost. He called us by name. That's communications. That's, that's the beginning of prayer. That's the beginning of our true life. And that's when you were born again, when you responded to that voice, that call from Jesus Christ. All right? So let's just look at this. And I, you know, I, this certainly may not be the most comprehensive list of things. Uh, and if you think of something better that I should include, write to me. Yeah, yeah. Office at BibleTalk.com send it to me. The first and primary purpose of prayer is to get us to listen to God. Amen. And it is not about changing God's mind, but to change our minds, and more importantly, our hearts. Yes. That's, why we, that's why we speak with, communicate with the Lord. Now think about it. Is your prayer life about that? Is your prayer life about us going to hear what He has to say? Or do we go before him like little children, and we just have to he, we have to make sure he hears what we have to say, what we think, what we want. He speaks with us that we might have faith. We pray to hear him speak to us, because that's where faith comes from. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, right? He speaks to us in order to teach us, yes. to reprove us, to correct us, to train us in righteousness. And that's exactly what Paul said to Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Right? He speaks with us to give us personal direction in and for our lives. He speaks with us so that, like Jesus, we will know what we're supposed to be saying. That's what Jesus said in John chapter 12. He didn't speak, Jesus didn't, Jesus, the King of Kings, he didn't speak anything unless he had heard the Father say it, right? That's right. And what he spoke was blessing into the life of others as an example to us. Mm -hmm. I've been fixated in a lot of the teaching I've been doing over here in England and UK and Wales and well, here and there and everywhere about the Lord's Prayer that we're going to, you know, that's, that's what this study seems to be about, the Lord's Prayer. Well, it's not the Lord's Prayer at all. It was a model for prayer for the church. Mm -hmm. The Lord's Prayer was, not my will, but thy will be done. Okay? That's the example. What is the greatest? I just asked Alice this a little while ago. We had a Bible study with somebody this morning. And what's the greatest prayer? What's the greatest example of prayer that you've ever heard? Mm -hmm. The answer is simple. Jesus, in the midst of the pain, in the midst of the shame, in the midst of the horror of the cross, he prayed this prayer. Father, forgive them. Yes. What he spoke was blessing. Blessing is almost inconceivable to us because had he not prayed that prayer, mm. where would we be? We'd have nothing. We'd have no hope. That's right. We wouldn't be here today joined in this. We wouldn't be. The purpose of prayer is to speak blessing. To, to hear the blessings of God in our life, but to speak blessing into the lives of others, all right?